All right, so a hypothesis is there's some sort of testable proposition about the state of the world. It's usually based on theory that you've developed. And this video is probably really geared more towards graduate students. But um, at the same time, you, you know, if, it's, if you're at any sort of stage of the, the research career, whether you're in um, primary grades or your uh, professors might really help you out as well. So, um, you know, what you're trying to do is sort of make a, a statement or some sort of proposition about how the world actually works based on some theory that you've developed or some sort of set of logic that you've developed based on what other people have done before you. And using that, what you're trying to do is really come up with a really, really simple, simple, simple proposition that is easy to um, not only write up, but it's very easy to test as well. So the easiest way that I've seen, and a lot of people do this, this is a pretty standard approach within scientific articles. And the simplest way is to simply just say, as X increases, Y decreases, or as X increases, um, Y decreases, or increases, right? So what you're looking at is you've got two different variables, two different constructs based on the theory that you are sort of making a relationship between those two. And you're simply saying that as one goes up, the other one goes down, or as one you know goes up, the other one goes up. And what you're trying to show is that there's some sort of um, correlational relationship at that moment in time. It's really, really tough to get causal understanding. In fact, nothing can ever be stated as sort of causation. However, we can get very close to causation if something is happening at the same time, um, at whether the, the X um, you know, precedes the, the Y, um, is sort of relationship and whether there is, you know, there, we've ruled out every possible explanation we can and we can maybe sometimes say that there's a pretty strong causal relationship there, but it's hard to get there. And I'm not going to get into all the different reasons why, but, you know, it, it is a difficult sort of thing to sort of say something causes something. The best we can say is as X increases, Y increases, or as X, um, you know, decreases, Y decreases, something along those lines. You want to just make a very simple statement like that. And so basic principles is that you really want to write your hypothesis on one to two lines. It's usually one very short sentence whatever that looks like. And if it gets longer than that, that's usually a bad sign. Um, you mean, so you probably have to do, you have to really, really make it a lot more simpler. Um, it should be based on your theory and not really what you're trying to measure. And there's lots of different reasons for that. But really the basic reason is, is that you wanna be able to you know, test it in many different ways. So you come up with this, sort of um, testable proposition, but then you could test it in all sorts of different ways by measuring it in different ways. So if you actually measure it, you, if the, the thing that your hypothesis is exactly what you're sort of going to measure and is really, really specific like that, it gets problematic because then it's only, um, it's, it's only sort of, it, you're only making a proposition about that really small minor thing. And that's what theory is about. And that's what we try to do in science is generalize, make it as sort of broad, uh, you know, broad based statement as we possibly can an abstract statement as, as possible you can so that we can sort of take it to different areas and test it in different ways and stuff like that. Um, so that's what you're trying to do. And then, um, you know, the other thing is you really want it to be testable and easy to explain, right? So testable being that you can actually get out there and actually test this thing and it's not, um, you know, that it's not going to be one of these slippery things that you can't necessarily get your fingers on and you don't know whether it's actually going to, you know, this is the thing that's actually going on. Um, and then the other thing is that it's really super, um, super simple to explain. You, you can talk to you know, um, a third grader, a second grader about this thing. And they should be able to follow along what you are saying. Now, it doesn't mean that they have to understand everything, but you should be able to get to the point where you can have a conversation about it and, and people would be excited about that. Whether, what I, if, whatever age you're at or whatever understanding you're at, it should be really, really simple um, to get this across. So. Um, that's all I'm going to say right now is that make it really simple. So think about as X increases, 
why decreases or as x increases, um, you know, y increases as well. It's a positive correlation. So what you're trying to do is just make a really simple statement that is really dumbed down. And the, the easier it is to, to explain, the smaller, sort of shorter amount of words that it takes up, the better off it is typically. And you're just looking for something really punchy um, that is testable, that is also extremely generalizable across many different contexts uh, as much as you can. So with that, um, hopefully you like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Do subscribe to the YouTube channel. Take care and have a wonderful day. Bye.